You're listening to Shall We Unpack This? with your host, Leilani Carrasco. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to this web podcast, which happened to land on the last week of school. We got graduations. We got Memorial Day weekend if you're in the States and summer coming up if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. There's just a lot going on right now. So uh, I had alluded in the last message or the last podcast episode that I wanted to talk about my story as it relates to religion and why I believe the way I do. But that seems a little too heavy hitting for uh, such an already heavy hitting week. So I wanted to share just a little tidbit that has been so beautiful and so helpful for me. And it was from a conversation that I had with two dear friends on Saturday. They're like my bonus mamas. And we try to have breakfast at least once every two months and sit and talk for hours. I highly recommend it. But one of my friends was talking about purchasing a home and looking at their resources and what they want. And she had brought up, I'm going to mention a Bible story. Don't run. She brought up the Bible story where Jesus fed the 5,000, whether it's a, whether it's a true story or not, it's an interesting uh, visual. So there's all these people that come to listen to Jesus. They're hungry. Even if they went into town to buy food, that wouldn't be enough to feed everybody. So the disciples find this boy that has like a basket full of his lunch, which is a few fish and a couple pieces of bread. And what really struck me when she reminded me of this story is just the basic simple question of Jesus asking, what do we have? If we have something, we can work with that. And that really spoke to me because just take, for example, a house. I was so burned on home ownership that I'm happy to rent for a very long time, but I know that my husband would like to build or own a home. And the whole process just seems overwhelming to me. And so since she was talking about purchasing a home, I thought, you know, what I have when it comes to visualizing a home is just the view, this very specific view from the house. I don't know if you've ever watched the show Sex Education, but it's this incredible house, which I think is for sale right now for a bargain. It's like 1.4 million pounds and it's in Wales and it's got this incredible view of the river and just this little view. It just spoke to me. It spoke to my heart. It just makes me happy thinking about it. That's what I have. Everything else, the square footage and what the kitchen looks like, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I can't even begin to wrap my head around imagining that, but I have that view. And I mean, it seems like a trite, such a trite uh, object lesson, you know, that I'm sure you've heard it before. Like use what you have, take what you have, look at it. Um, make the most of it. Uh, Whenever I would teach yoga, um, and even in my own exercise journey, I learned the value of not going 100%. What percentage do you have in you right now? If it's 40%, bask in the 40%. If it's 20%, Give your best fucking 20% and just bask in it and enjoy it. And when you're geared up and like, I want to go to town on this workout, then bask in that. What's interesting is that this comes on the heels of a very stubborn streak that I had a couple weeks ago. I did not want to go grocery shopping. Just the thought of it made me angry. And I'm like, I just, I go grocery shopping to multiple stores every single week. And I just, I don't want to, I don't want to. I was just adamant and it was just like, fuck it. I'm not going, I'm not going. I will find a way to feed us using what we have. And 
I had been in a cooking rut up to that point. I used to be big into cooking and had a friend recently ask me, are you cooking anything lately? And I'm like, I feel really guilty saying this, but no, I don't care about cooking anymore. That little experiment, that stubborn streak of not growing grocery shopping for, I made it to 13 days. That's almost two weeks of not having to go to H-E-B. Um, it was so much fun. It stirred my creative juices. I looked forward to what I was going to find in my cupboards and I had to think a different way and um, let go of what I was used to eating and try something new. And so when I think about, well, what do I have right now in terms of my energy for today or what I feel like I can accomplish on my to-do list? Um, the concept of using what I have and going full throttle on whatever percentage that I have feels kind of like, well, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know what I have. And the same with the cooking thing. Like if I were to try to make the meals that I normally made, well, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to make. It took some digging. It took some thinking and creativity and it took a lot of pressure off too, because for me, the pressure to go out, expend a lot of energy at the store. I always face some kind of traffic drama on the way back from HEB. I don't know what it is. It's like the HEB curse. Every single time I drive home, I'm stuck behind some asshole or some assholes stuck behind me. I'm just like, ah, so it adds to the stress. All of that just drains me. And then bringing all the food in, putting it all away. All of that energy was reserved. It wasn't spent. And so I could put it towards thinking outside the box and playing. I had the energy to play. So as I look to this new business I'm starting, just now getting into the portion where I'm looking for clients, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> And to ask myself the question, well, what do you have? Uh, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, well, that's, uh, that's a lazy answer. <laughs> Keep digging. I can think about three things, three small things that I want to accomplish today, whether it's drafting out a proposal or a pitch or it's um, researching uh, anything anything to get you out of the cycle of, I don't know, or this is the way I've always done it, or I have no hope in this because I've not seen the other side of it. I don't know how to feel. I don't know what I want. Those are some big questions. If someone were to come up to you and say, how are you feeling? I don't know. Uh, what do you want? I don't know. Those are big questions. What is your small little view what's your what's your um sex education house view <laughs> for lack of a better word i don't know how i feel except for this little heaviness i feel in my chest or i'm still thinking about this thing and i'm upset about it i can't explain why i'm upset but i'm just thinking about this thing what do i have i have this memory okay Sit with that. That's that's your twenty percent. That's what you. That's your forty percent. That's what you have at your disposal in your hands. You can hold it. You can explore it. But it's yours. What do you want? I, I don't know. I know I want a um, a successful career, but what does that really look like? What's one thing that that looks like? It means getting to sleep in until 8 and start my day at 10. Excellent. We, that is yours. We can move from that. It's amazing how very little we need when we think of what do we have right now. And it may not look like much, but you can get like 13 days of meals out of it or... You can get one day under your belt. You can get one solid workout under your belt. 
can have the best walk of your life, the best night's sleep of your life. What do you have in this moment that lights you up, that feels good, that feels clear? You can pinpoint everything else might be gray. But you can pinpoint this and it may be very small, but it's what you have. To go another step with the analogy in case you're like, I don't know about that loaves and fishes story. As I'm, you know, I think of how much fruit a tree provides or even just an okra plant or um, flowers, any kind of plant. One seed made all of that. It's like, what did you, what did you have to start with? Well, I had a seed course, some ground and some water and some sun, but physically I had this little thing. And with enough nurturing, it can become more, but it just starts with something very small, very specific. You can hold it in your hand. You can look all around it. It's not vague. It's not blur. It's clear. So that's all I have for today because it's all I have for today. <laughs> I don't want to bombard anybody and I'm not feeling it. I'm like, I'm working on a million other things. The thing that lights me up the most right now is practicing the splits and doing all these fun little videos. I'm having so much fun. I don't care if anyone watches them or if people think I'm losing my mind. I'm having so much fun. It is clear to me that I want to have fun exploring my body and seeing what it can do, reveling in the strength that I'm gaining that I haven't had for years. My injury set me back March of 2018. It crippled me until probably last year. And so to get my not even old body back, to get a new, stronger, more wise body is so exciting. That's what I have. And that's what I'm playing with. And it's I don't know, it's lighting me up in other areas if I let it. So hope that resonates. Hope that wasn't too preachy. Hope that wasn't feel good, happy, clappy too much. But I will say my eyes watered like they teared up when my friends said, what do you have? Because I'm like, oh, that's such a relief. I don't know all these other details, but I know I have this. And it makes me happy when I think of it. And that can be enough. So happy almost summer, happy end of school, happy buying all the snacks so your kid can eat them all in a week. <laughs> My mom would always say, don't eat it just because it's there. I'm like, well, well, how would I eat it if it's not there? You know, but whatever. Um, mom, thank you for feeding all five of us over the summer. I, I would not have been able to do that. <laughs> Anyway, have a great week and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for listening. Join us on Instagram at SWUT Podcast. That's S-W-U-T-P-O-D-C-A-S-T for further conversations, insights, and behind-the-scenes content from today's episode. And for the complete viewing experience, tune into shall we unpack this on youtube we'll see you next week